My name is Jeff Lieto. I'm an initiator for the seminar series where work meets faith. And this video is a training video for yourself. Uh, chances are that you have already been identified as God-loving, wise, and reputable if you're viewing this video. Uh, I want to tell you what this ministry is about. We try to create space around a preciousness of God at work in the lives of ordinary people. Uh, I have to tell you that this ministry has changed my life. Uh, to be a part of a uh, community and to be valued, needed, and um, uh, I, I feel such a uh, closeness to the to my faith community as a result of this. Uh, I would go to daily services for years, but getting to uh, hear someone's faith story uh, is is way different than just knowing the person. You get at something deep inside them that is so enriching and so valuable. And then, uh, because they go through the process of presenting in the seminar series, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's quite an undertaking. Uh, and you feel close to them and they feel close to you. And as you build this up and get to know uh, 20, 30 uh, people this way, you feel such a, a deeper closeness with the community. Uh, so, uh, that's why it's changed my life. So let's get started now and get an understanding of what you're going to need. The first thing you'll need is permission from your local cleric to run the series. Uh, next, you will need uh, to form your team. The team consists of a video producer and a promoter and yourself as initiator. There are write-ups for each of these different positions and also there are training videos for each of these positions so you can view their training videos and get an understanding of what it is that each of them are doing. Now it's very important that uh, this be a good experience for you. So uh, when you've looked at all of the materials, this training video and the other training videos, ask yourself three questions. Do I see this as truly in the best interests of others? Is this something that I can do? That's the work part of it. Can I, can I get the job done? And is this an area of meaningful expansion for yourself? Now the area of meaningful expansion for yourself uh, is uh, a, a, a pick and choose kind of a question. You know, some people are interested in knitting, some like to sew. Uh, so uh, that's a uh, personal choice statement. So that's what we mean by an area of meaningful expansion for yourself. Now if your answer is yes to all three of these questions, chances are very high that, that you will um, have a good experience in running this ministry. If you have a neutral answer to one of the questions, in other words it's neither a yes nor no, chances are also high that it will still be a good experience for you. Uh, each of your team members will ask those same questions so that you can be satisfied that uh, the chances are it's going to be a good experience for your whole team. The requirements that you're going to need is uh, it takes for you, the initiator, it takes about 16 hours a month uh, of flex time and uh, that's during the school year. We take time off in June, July, and August and that's typically uh, like eight sessions, uh, eight one-hour sessions. You provide your own equipment uh, which costs under $250. You'll need a Flip Ultra HD third generation video camera, a Dolica ST300 tripod, and a Pinnacle Studio 16 Ultimate software. Uh, you will also uh, need to access to our shared documents. The Google Cloud um, has free access to what's called shared documents. You get a password and then you come on and 
you uh, can use your use the write-ups for this series. Now the write-ups are comprehensive. Um, that means that you don't you 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 actually they're written in such a way that you actually do the work as it's described in the write-ups, and then um, you it, after a while it becomes a habit for you. Now uh, the next thing you have to do is you have to get a space where uh, you're going to be showing the um, uh, where where people are going to be presenting in the series, and uh, um, that space should be well lighted, uh, and you you get uh, you get on the the calendar to get that space uh, in your local faith community. Um, assembly hall or wherever it is that you will be presenting at for eight regular evenings by now by regular I mean for example the third Wednesday of each month you will find that this regularity is important for your team each of them have their job to do and one uh, dovetails into the other and that regularity uh, is important to the success of the whole now, as initiator, your main job, as the uh, term implies, is getting presenters. You initiate the series. You will be working two months in advance. So, um, that means, the reason why it's two months in advance is because uh, you will be having uh, to publicize the presentations. And on the night of any given presentation, you want to have a sheet that shows the upcoming presentation. So by working uh, two months in advance, you have enough time to do that. You would have, uh, for each evening, you will have three presenters. Uh, the evening lasts, uh, the presentations last one hour. Uh, in total, that's 20 minutes per presenter. And the um, now, let me talk about uh, how you actually get presenters. What what you do to get a presenter? You uh, tap a person on the shoulder at your in your faith community. You ask them, have they heard of the seminar series where work meets faith? Uh, they will give you their answer, and then you will ask. Um, might you consider meeting with me to consider presenting in the seminar series? All my presenters are comfortable. There's no preparation ahead of time. And uh, chances are they will either give you a quick yes or a quick no. Um, and the yes is uh, then you meet with them and there's a, um, a technique, uh, we, we call it a communication protocol there's a, a form that you use called questions for presenters and checklist and you go down that uh, form and essentially you ask the person this do you find in your workaday experience that from time to time you provide extreme value and they give you their answer and uh, you um, you start to take notes about it then uh, you ask if they at the same time now, now this is a concrete example it's not theory it's uh, something specific it's experiential then at the same time you ask them that you've provided this extreme value uh, did you also feel a sense of humility and in about half of the instant instances the people will say yes they did feel a sense of humility and in those instances um, you will suggest to them that it may be a presence of God at work in their life and whenever you are in the presence of God you feel a humility. Now these presentation stories are very powerful. Uh, then the person will tell you uh, tips that they may have from their work expertise or from the um, God side of their talk and these will be practical tips that they have learned are useful uh, to the audience. And then uh, um, the uh, person has been um, prepared. Um, you uh, send them a, a brief description of their um, 
talk. Uh, that's like three or four lines, and this is meant to promote the talk in your local communications, that brochure that I mentioned before, for example. And I have uh, two other people review that before I send it out um, and um, send it out to the presenter. And then, of course, the presenter can make a comment on it as well. So now let's move to the evening itself. The seminar series evening, uh, in our case, runs from 7.30 to 9 p.m. on the third Wednesday of each month. Uh, we get there about um, 7 o'clock to make sure everything is set up and in order. The presenters come about 7.15, and um, each one talks, uh, gives their presentation. You introduce each one using the description of their talk that you had obtained previously. Then at the end of their presentations, the second half of the evening, you invite uh, the audience to um, move about, to uh, talk to their neighbor, to ask a presenter a question, and typically the room is a buzz with um, conversation. And the reason for that, that second half of the evening is as important as the first half because there's been sticky information that has been given in these presentations. I, I just, I can't explain it to you unless you actually were, were a part of it. And it's very exhilarating and people just need to talk to each other. At the end of the evening, you uh, bring the camera home with you you plug it into your computer. There's a little, uh, uh, real handy little a USB port that flips up. You plug it into the computer. You upload the videos, each of the three videos. And then you um, start the process of uh, sending an email to the uh, video producer. You have one email for each video you put up. You also uh, bring up a form that's called an edit form and on this form um, you view the video now and you um, remove those sections that should be removed. You use your wisdom to uh, we're trying to build up a sense of community in the faith community and so any untoward remark towards an individual or a group of persons um, you would remove. Uh, so on this form, you mark the how you uh, the, the location um, in the video talk. They're, they're all numbered times. You know, for example, uh, three minutes and thirty three seconds, and you put in a phrase before uh, the final phrase before the edit, and then you do say four at four zero zero, and then that's the phrase immediately after the edit. And the video producer, their job is to actually make those cuts. So you uh, then write down faith enrichment qualities from the presentation and these are used uh, as tags for the presentation. And then you send off that video to the video producer. He makes the cuts as you've requested. Um, and uh, of course you would have done that on the other two videos as well. Uh, and then the video producer sends the videos back to you one by one. You review to make sure that the cuts were made as intended. Then you, the sense of community cuts were made as intended. And then you send it off to the local cleric. The local cleric reviews it for faith edits and 99% of the time there are no faith edits. If the local cleric has any, he just verbally tells them to you. You communicate that back to the um, video producer again using the uh, e-form and um, in that way uh, the video has uh, passed both the uh, sense of community edits and the faith edits then it gets forwarded to the presenter who himself or herself uh, may make any additional edits rarely do they make any additional edits and then at that point in time the video becomes uh, a public video Thank you. Uh, Jeff, how do you get presenters? 
Yeah, um, I already mentioned that I tap them on the shoulder. Uh, it's it's good if you go to uh, regular faith community um, um, services. Um, you know, it's at those services that you are you are seeking people. Now, some people I know, some I don't. If even if I don't know them, uh, I'll still tap them on the shoulder. They recognize me. I recognize them. You know that we've been. Uh, in 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 the services uh, before, um, but my biggest place where I get people is actually at, in in the uh, faith in the faith community. Do you do anything else to get presenters? Yeah, you know uh, the biggest thing is that I trust God. Um, since you're working so far in advance, uh, and you have these slots to fill, you're kind of like a hunter. And, you know, a hunter who, imagine a hunter who uh, needs to survive by, by hunting, putting the food on the table. And somehow it just happens. You just, you just find it. And um, so I'm all the time, I'm trusting God. My, my level of trust in God in this whole thing is, um, is at the highest level. Is there a way to recoup your costs? Yes, there is. That's a very good question. Um, once a year, we have a an annual fundraiser, and at this time, we invite friends, uh, presenters, um, people who we know, uh, to make a contribution to keep this ministry going. The uh, videos are um, are shown publicly at Loquate TV. And the website is very expensive to maintain and to um, to to build out, and so um, half of the uh, proceeds that are collected locally go to the uh, Loquate TV, and the other half are kept in the discretion of the local initiator to cover their um, initial uh, outlay as well as uh, if they have um, other incidental expenses for paper and, and so forth. Thank you.